you guys were very high profile um, at South by Southwest. Um, can you talk a little bit about how you um, did that and do, do you think it was successful? And Yeah, I attribute it to great marketing uh, on the part of uh, uh, Emily Hickey and Rachel Sklar. They came up with a, with a marketing campaign uh, and, and to brand one of the core features of the service, the, the business card exchange. I thought it made a lot of sense, so I let them run with it, and mm -hmm. they did a fantastic job of just, you know, drumming up interest and and very very utilitarian, right? Hey, mm -hmm. don't don't bring your business card. This thing will do the trick for you, and it did. It worked. Mm -hmm. um, so you feel so, like it was positive ROI, like the oh yeah, it was it was hugely successful for us. I mean, I think we were. I just, I, uh, one thing I worry about is it or with South by Southwest, it just becomes so saturated with so many people, uh, so one many thing companies I, doing so much marketing there. Does it really like you yeah? Know? So one thing I caution, I, and I tweeted about this a number of times. Is and I even called out. I mean, there were certain people, sort of journalists, that were writing, "This is do or die for this company," and all that kind of stuff. I think that's kind of silly. Yeah. I mean, this industry is. I mean, the internet is so big right now, and word travels so fast. If you build some great feature two months after South by, you could have a miserable South by Southwest, and two months later, build this great new yeah. uh, feature and be off to the races. I've, I've come to kind of believe in the whole little like kind of lean startup thing, where you just kind of iterate and iterate, and your metrics driven. And people put a lot, way too much weight in kind of launching, right? And all yeah. these kinds of notions. I don't know. I th I've I've started to over the years buy into it now. I guess you know. Yeah. Oh, totally. I mean, you know, being agile and being and being metrics driven, I think, is really important. Um, as long as you know, one one of the things about lean startup that I, I, I've I've taken a little flack for is I've uh, I've heard some people equate it with staying small. I, I think that's a misconception. I mean, I think it, 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 it was a misconception. Yeah. Right? No. I, yeah. I think you're right. I think you're right. Um, but no, I, I think you have to be metrics driven. I mean, the point like Eric, for example, Eric Reese made to me about the launching, like getting on TechCrunch or something, right? Is what's the point of, is basically press is an amplifier. And if you, have a, if you have a bad product, it amplifies that. And if it's a totally. good product, it amplifies that. Oh, absolutely. And you, know, you can throw or whatever. If you have, you use your, pick your metaphor. If you have a leaky bucket, there's no point in pouring more water into it to I fix totally, it. And, I totally agree with that. And then and once, and I think they would say, once and once you've gotten the thing right, then sure, blow it out, market, yeah. you know, et cetera. I, I completely agree with that. Um, I, I think it's hard for some people to wrap their head around that. Some people feel like all press is good press, you know. I think it's a little more complicated when your network effects product because the utility of the product is is right, of course, directly yeah. proportional to the number of users, and so yep. it's it it's I don't know. I think that throws a little bit of a wrench into it, but um, yeah, it does. Um, I I would always err, me personally, always err on the side of of having more stuff right before I talk about things than not. Um, but, you know, people will differ about that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, I tend to be kind of a conservative person. Yeah. No, I think, um, I mean, I think a lot of the lean startup stuff is probably what I would consider just sort of best practices that, that yeah. people that have done this for a while uh, would already have agreed. You know, they sort of put a nice framework around it and named yep. it, you know, and I think, you know, um, but I think a lot of it's sort of just like like being metrics driven, Common for example. Sense. Yeah, I mean, it's like a very good practice. Yeah. Sometimes first-time entrepreneurs don't realize that's the best practice, but then, you know. So it's sort of nice to have someone out there, I think, yes. evangelizing a lot of these good practices. Yes. And so. 